first and then we'll walk through together. So give me just a second while I draw this. All right. Hmm, there you go. I like to give my animals eyelashes whenever I can. Okay, in truth, mollusks don't have eyelashes, but still. Have your fun where you can. Okay, so here's my sort of very vague general mollusk body shape. Let's start with the mouth. Um, I'm gonna draw my digestive tract in green. All right, so um, they have an esophagus, which is just a tube that carries um, food from the mouth to the first chamber, which is the stomach. And then from the stomach, we will go you know, it's gonna loop around because it's an intestine. Something like that. Out to the anus. All right, so we have stomach. We have intestine. You have esophagus. And an anus. So, is this a complete or an incomplete digestive tract? It's a complete tract, right? We have a mouth and it goes all the way down to the anus. So this is definitely a complete digestive tract. We are finished with our blind guts or no guts at all. Okay, and they have this really cool um, some of them have a neat kind of tooth-like conveyor belt in their mouths. Um, it's called a rasping tongue. The techno technical name that you need to know is the radula. And we will look at it in more detail shortly. But think about it like a rasping tongue. Like it's these got these little pointy teeth-like things on the tongue. And so it helps them to scrape off um, food from rocks and that sort of stuff. They also have, independent of their stomachs, they may have other glands that help them to digest. And these are rightly called digestive glands. And they will have um, enzymes and things in them that help the stomach break down uh, with the food. Um, most of them will have, I'm trying to decide what color to use, some kind of gill um, for respiration. I'm going to draw it kind of like, almost like a feather or a leaf, some sort of filamentous thing. It's a gill. So it's going to have lots of surface area to exchange gases. Um, and you will also have a heart. This is a terrible drawing, but um, what I just drew was like a two-chambered heart. And for some mollusks, um, they have what's called an open circulatory system, which means that after the blood or the hemolymph, the fluid is pumped from the heart, it's just kind of, it squirts out of the heart and then just bathes all of the tissues. Um, and then in a closed circulatory system, you have um, blood vessels that actually keep high blood pressure um, that that connect directly to the heart and it goes to a particular tissue. Okay, let me write some of that down. So what I've drawn, well, the 
the circulatory system can be open, which basically means no blood vessels, but you still have a pump, you still have the heart, or closed, which means you do have blood vessels. A closed system has higher pressure and that makes it more efficient. If you are a very active animal, you need a closed circulatory system to replenish your tissues um, as they are working. Okay, and then around the heart is a body cavity, a coelom. And in this case, it is the pericardium. And you have a pericardium too. Okay, oh, I was gonna say one more thing about circulatory system. Um, the fluid, the circulatory fluid is called hemolymph. And it's a lot like blood, but more like plasma. Like if you took our red blood cells out and use something else to carry oxygen, that's hemolymph. Okay, I'm looking at my drawing to see if I'm missing something. Um, let's draw in a little bit of a shell. Almost all mollusks have a shell, but not all. And then what's one of the one of the unique shared traits that only mollusks have and all mollusks have it is a purple stripe. I'm kidding. This purple stripe is going to represent something that looks like skin. Like it looks like mammalian skin. It's very fleshy. That is called the mantle. The mantle is important. Underline it or star it or something. The mantle is, it. like if this is the shell, the mantle is going to be tight to it. Okay, it's going to like be right underneath it. And it is, it's fleshy. It's very thin. Um, it's just like a layer of skin basically underneath that shell. And the mantle is what is responsible for producing a shell. So it builds the shell. Um, I'm going to make, ooh, let's see. Let's use a crazy color for gonads because I'm gonna draw something very vague. Okay, this is some kind of gonad. Um, Mollusks can be, well, they're all going to reproduce sexually. Sexual reproduction. Some of them are monoecious. And some of them are dioecious. Hopefully, you can recall what those two terms mean. Monoecious means both sexes in the same individual. So something like a hermaphrodite, hermaphroditic. And then dioecious means separate sexes. You will have girl snails, and actually snails are the ones that are hermaphroditic. Uh, girl squids and boy squids, for example. Um, okay, so another system that is important. They have basically a very, they have the start of a kidney. 
I'm sorry for all the noise outside. My kid's outside playing because it's beautiful outside and yelling at the dog. This um, primitive kidney, ooh, find yourself some space, is called the nephridium. Nephridium. And it will, it's essentially a kidney. There's only one. So they're not paired. And they will filter um, the hemolymph and remove nitrogenous, nitrogenous waste. All right. How's your crazy snail clam thing looking? All right, we've got our digestive gland, gonad, shell, our pericardium, coelom, mantle, nephridium, complete digestive tract um, linked to a respiratory. I didn't label that at all, did I? Respiratory tract is mostly going to be gills. nervous system. They have a nerve ring that kind of wraps around the esophagus. And then they have um, nerve cords that will run along the body. So there's a nerve ring, which is essentially a ganglion. So it's somewhat centralized. To and then paired nerve cords. And then when we get to the cephalopods, um, we'll talk more about, they have a much more advanced um, nervous system than the other mollusks, so we'll come back to that later. Okay, I think that's, those are the main systems. And like I said, this is sort of vague because it does differ. Wow, what just happened? It differs in the different classes. And as this is a very um, diverse group, lots of variation within mollusca.